Hello and welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is a new series on Unity scripting tutorial. So in this series we will learn how to write scripts for Unity from complete ground up. If you don't have any kind of previous programming experience you are most welcome. And if you have previous programming experience and you want to brush up your skills in Unity you are most welcome too. So in this series we will start from complete ground up and we will build on that knowledge to know more about Unity scripting. So first of all let me explain why do we need scripting and what is scripting. Okay. So if you have done any kind of programming course before or if you have heard about computer programming you know that computer programming basically means in giving instructions to the computer to do something. Now, in case of Unity, the same, the same principle applies. So as an example, if we have a game, we want each and every object of that game to be interactive. We want to control each and every object and we also want those objects to have their own properties so that they can do something. As an example, suppose I have a player and I want that player to move whenever I press the left and right arrow keys. So I can write a script and attach that script to the player and inside the script I can write some instructions which will instruct the player to move left whenever I press the left arrow key and move right whenever I press the right arrow key. And I can write more instructions like I, it will shoot a bullet whenever I press the mouse arrow mouse left button. So as you can see this is how we are actually giving some instructions to different game objects to do some tasks. So this is what script does. By using scripting we will give instructions to various game objects and we will make them operate as we want. Uh, we will make them operate according to our wish. So we will make them instantiate whenever we want. We will destroy them whenever we want. We will move them, rotate them and whatever we want do whatever we want. So this can be achieved by using scripting. So scripting is very 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 useful for game development. So if you want to be a game developer you have to be very confident and very professional or very not very expert but you have to have good knowledge about scripting. Okay so now in the context of Unity, Unity supports three different programming languages for scripting C sharp JavaScript and Boo now Boo is not actually used a lot so here are mainly two programming languages C sharp and JavaScript now in this series of videos we will use C sharp and there are a couple of reasons behind that so C Sharp is a language created by Microsoft for its .NET platform. C Sharp is a complete object oriented programming language so using it we can get a very organized way to uh, write our scripts. Okay, If we use JavaScript we don't have uh, there we don't have any class uh, we don't have to specifically write our objects inside a class so and moreover whenever we declare the type of a variable in case of JavaScript we don't have to write any type so later on when you are reading your own scripts or when you are reading someone else's script it will be a lot of problem because uh, you will get into a lot of confusions but if you're using C sharp it has a more organized way to write code. You write all of your code inside a class. Inside that class you place some functions and variables and before writing the variable names you have to declare the types of those variables. So this is a very organized way to write code. So if you're starting scripting, if you're starting to learn Unity and if you're starting to learn scripting, I would recommend you to start with C Sharp because uh, um, it has more organized way as I've said you before and if you apply for a job in any kind of game development 
or with Unity, you will see that most of the gaming studios who uses Unity uses C Sharp as their programming language. And if you have watched some of the Unity's official video tutorials, you will know that they also use C Sharp as the language for their tutorials because they know that C using C Sharp is a better option than JavaScript. Okay, so that's why they used C Sharp and that's why you should also use C Sharp. Okay, so that little introduction to programming, scripting and C Sharp. Let us try to create our very first script. So in Unity, there are a couple of options to create a script. So as you can see, here we have a project panel. So inside this project panel, we have a create option. If we click on this create option, here we have a couple of options. So from here, you can see we have two options. One, we have a C Sharp script and we have a JavaScript. So from here, if we click on the C Sharp script, it will create a new C Sharp script for us. By default, Unity names it new behavior script. So if we want to change the name, we just write our own name. I will write here test script. Okay, so this is one way to create a script. Another way to create a script is we can right click inside the whenever we are inside this assets folder we can right click and create and from here we can also you create a new C sharp script or new JavaScript. Another way to do that is whenever we have any object in our game suppose I create an empty object here so if I click this object here whenever the object is selected from the inspector I have an option to add components to that object so if I click add component ra uh, at the uh, position here at down below you can see that we have two options we can either uh, click on scripts or we can click on new scripts if we click on scripts then it will allow us to add existing scripts that we have created before to this game object and we can also create a new script and attach it to this game object at the same time so we can let's name it new script and whenever you are selecting creating this new script you can see that here we have two options here we have language and here we have C sharp selected if we click here you can see we have now two options C sharp and JavaScript since we are using C sharp we will click on C sharp now if we click on create an ad you can see that this script has been created so this is how you create your very first script and if you want to edit this unity has its inbuilt editor called mono behavior uh, yes and if you want to open the script in mono behavior just double click on this script here or double click here if I double click here as you can see that I'm sorry the name is mono develop I by some mistake I name it mono behavior actually it's mono develop okay so when you double click it the script will open in mono develop as you can see mono develop is loading and it will get loaded it will take some time very first time you're opening mono develop okay okay as you can see our new script has been loaded so whenever you create a new script this is what you can see so we will learn what these things mean in the next episode in this video we, will we have learned about the basic scripting of what is scripting and we have also learned how to create and add new scripts to our game and we have also learned how to open it in monodevelop in the next video we will learn what these things mean and we will learn uh, the very basics of scripting so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. I know you will learn a lot more if you continue watching these videos. You will really be a pro scripter if you just continue watching these videos. So I hope it helps and if you guys really enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So thank you very very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, if you want to know anything, just write those in comments. So thank you very much and have a great day. Let's keep watching. Thanks.